Hello everyone. Welcome to Odoo development tutorial video. In this video, we are going to discuss about the components of a Odoo module and the module structure. So, uh, we have Odoo 13 added into our PyCharm. Let's take a module for our process. Explain, explaining things we are taking the CR module okay so uh, under this CR you can see many directories like controllers data dogs internet session model reports security etc okay so what are these things that's we are uh, first going to discuss so the controllers this controller folder contains some python files that is used to handle requests from web browsers okay so you can see that under this file you can see the lead crm keys crm mark won't you can see the http routes and related codes to handle some tasks okay so this is the controllers folder the next is data data means we will have some demo data in our module we will have some configuration data and uh, many other things these things are written in XML or in the CSV file format okay then uh, the doc that's uh, some RST change log and everything related to this module uh, not that important this uh, L10 L18N it's called internationalization so international uh, internationalization means uh, translation of your module into different languages that is used around the globe so uh, you can see many PO files under this directory and these each files are trans contains translation of terms that is we are use in this module into different languages so the first uh, one is uh, i am not familiar with this one uh, is for arabic okay so uh, you can see the terms message id meetings and the arabic term that is used to replace that meetings okay and you can see many terms here if you scroll down in and uh, basically uh, this in this folder contains the translation into different languages so uh, models another uh, important components is models so this model contains the business objectives sorry a business objects so uh, these business objects are declared as Python classes uh, so uh, you can see that under this you can see the CRM leads so the leads and lowest reasons tags and everything is de declared here so as Python classes so you can see class lead uh, name of the class description and uh, many things we will go in detail about this area in coming videos so uh, basically this model directory contains the python sorry uh, module objects then the report section the report directory have the files for generating different kind of reports so uh, this we have the crm activity report and the user interface we will uh, get into that later and the security uh, it will uh, this file will have the user groups defined uh, sorry this directory will have the use uh, contains the files that is defined user groups and access rights to uh, different business objects and everything like that so you can see that here use lead show lead menu and the basic button manager different users will be uh, different records and uh, user groups will be the lead multi-company 
record rules access rights will be defined under this security folder the next item is static so this static uh, folder will contain some images csv files javascript files uh, these are used to uh, used by the web interface or our website okay so you can see the icon of that module CRM module okay and uh, some src uh, in this under this uh, src folder we have the css files javascript files and uh, test cases xml templates and etc okay so under this test folder uh, you can see unit test cases of all our business objects okay so we have business objects under these models and the unit test cases for that business objects under this test folder next is views so under this views directory we will define how our business objects will be presented presented in our user interface display basically a definition of our business objects in a user interface so uh, this is a calendar view definition crm lead views definition it's a tag crm tag and uh, there are many objects definition user interface definition and different kind of soft views will be there and we will uh, deal with that uh, views types and everything in the next videos and next item is wizard so wizard is a just like a pop-up window uh, uh, we can use that for report generation and many other purposes so that will contain uh, some temporary data okay so for that uh, we are a special directory under that directory we will uh, define the python process and uh, business objects and uh, uh, that wizards user interface both will be come uh, under this wizard directory then next part is the module structure how uh, you can see this uh, two files here init.py and manifest.py these two plays an important role in this uh, module structure so this uh, manifest file is declaring a module okay so this file contains metadata of your module let's have a look you can see it's a, basically it's a python dictionary and you will have keys and their values so now uh, the name is CRM version 1.0 category sales or CRM sequence summary description and goes on okay so uh, there are many contents we can put into and uh, in this manifest file so basically uh, this file holds the metadata of your module and what about this init.py so this init.py file this contains import instructions for various python files we have uh, in this module so this init.py file comes directly under this crm directory and we have many other init.py files if in this case of CRM uh, module we can see one under this controllers one under this models okay and uh, under this wizard under this taste okay so uh, these init.py files are combining uh, contains uh, import instructions for all other uh, files we have in our directory so under this control file we have a init.py it will have a import instruction for the main 
load py file we have under this controllers directory okay just like this we have one under these models and this will have import instruction for all other files we have under models directory and just like the others we have one under the tests we have one under the init uh, sorry wizard so in this init.py file in this dean.py file that is like the directly under the CRM it will have import instruction for the controllers and models reports wizards so that's how the uh, Odoo structure I hope you uh, understand uh, the components and the module structure of Odoo thanks for watching have a nice day if you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.